Hi, hello. Oh, oh. Hello. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a We did that in a box the other day. We kept calling each other nonces. It was like, there's far too many nonces for a Pokemon in boxing. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, Mr. Rhyme. He's a, he. He's a probably, look, if I showed you a picture, mate, he Mr. does. Rhyme. Yeah, he he does it like a pedo. Mr. Rhyme's an on. Whatever <laughs> Mr. Rhyme is. Official. Official. Um, hi, welcome back. This is another weird and wonderful news. We're all present. We're not he's all not here, but we're all present. He's not here. <laughs> she... Where's the juice? I didn't bring it up. Well, I didn't make you a juice. Breaking news. <laughs> no, no juice. juice. No, no, no juice. <laughs> 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 it's going to say. Roll! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 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 Well, I've just started. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get Stormbreaker in the shop. This is what me and Chris deal with now. So uh, if the Walking Dead were to ever happen, I mean, I think we'd be all right. <laughs> we would be all right at a distance until I mean, unfortunately, this is sharp though, wouldn't it be? Beast, did you smash this off my head? Uh, I, I. Is it? Was it? Was you, it uh, yeah. Plastic. Yeah. So I mean, if there was a it walk, could get melted down into a. We want to melt down Stormbreaker because <laughs> if every time I seen a walker, I would shout that line. We actually reenacted. We didn't have boxing for this. Me and B reenacted the scene where you know Fanos uh, gets it in his chest and. Uh, that but, was it. I went to cut your head off. Yeah. I hit you in the chest. But she wasn't doing a load of the lines. She started kicking off. Then she took the gauntlet off me and had them both. I was like, that didn't happen in the film. <laughs> that unboxing's not up yet. Get the fuck off him! <laughs> no, no, no. You take the little one. Avengers End Game. Don't hit us with it though. I got him in the chest, that was it. Don't hit us with it. No, it, mate, it does hurt. Anyway, what's today's headers? Today's headers, we've got roller coaster. Ooh. Ah. We have briefcase. Wanker. <laughs> briefcase <laughs> wanker. <laughs> we have. Uh, deal. Oh, no, deal. Yay! I like that one. <laughs> and we have tits. And Vagana. Tits and Vagana. Uh, there you go, visuals. I've got the clicky for some reason. You, you're the one that... We can end that bit and go to the first story anyway. Yes. <laughs> Put your best shot part. I need straight up this master ball quick. That's absolutely plastered in dust. Like everything else in this house can be in dust. You're a, she's a woman that doesn't clean. Can you believe that? She's a woman that doesn't clean. I know, how fucking stupid is that? <laughs> what did I tell you yesterday? You know that girl that unfortunately lost her life down in London because that policeman? There was some stupid councilwoman, lady or person, who said men should have a curfew at six o'clock. Why have a curfew at six o'clock? So women can feel safe out and about. So men have to be in the house at six o'clock. It's not going to happen. Well, it's... Men have to be in the house. Yeah, so women can feel safe. Well, that's a bit shit because I fucking work past six. Mate, well, I'm saying, imagine if, imagine right, if like, sorry, this isn't one of these stories here. Imagine if you like me, got the shop for some milk, or whatever. You just fifty-year-old Jimmy from Plymouth. You just want to go to some milk. It's twenty past six. Oh, get in! You're you're a murderer. You might be a rape. You're like, you're fucking milk. What if you're a man in your house? It's past six. You can see a crime happening. Like somebody actually can't come out and save you. Love, it's past six. Yeah, like I said, it's not gonna happen. It's just one stupid ass woman. And apparently, now what's the other one be about crossing the road? Um, apparently, if you're a man and you're walking behind a woman, you've got to make yourself known that you're there. Yeah. And cross on the other side of the road so you're not walking on the same side as her. So if I see a woman come, I have to go, Hi, I'm a man! Oh, means so that I might you, kill you. Women want everything now, like. I didn't ask for this. You're yeah, you fucking, did. You, you asked for equal rights. <laughs> whoa, that. whoa, Chris, they should have always... <laughs> wow. you get let's, that? let's not now, be sexist here. They should have always had equal rights. Well, yeah, like, yeah. Women, women fought yeah. and vote and some lose the life. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're just a sexist <laughs> pig, right? <laughs> women should always be equal, okay? Yeah, but... Just, just you know, you have a dick if, and we do. Uh, you I have some do. Like so if I'm playing, <laughs> play playing Pokemon, I am, if you look at me, I am not a threat of, of any me. They're going to ask me well. why I'm the best threat. <laughs> That's why I'm the best threat. Anyway, I'm playing Pokemon, whatever. My headphones on, even though I, 
I can sometimes have mad fits. There's a few times I've walked home watching the football and I'm screaming and shouting like a lunatic. But yeah, basically, if you're a man, be in your house by six and don't be on the same street as the women. And apparently there's a secret code you have to do, a new hand code. So that was a policeman anyway what? that did the thingy, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, but it wasn't right in the head, apparently. It got done for an indecent exposure before that happened. Oh, so I'll never be a policeman then. I'm joking, Chris. <laughs> right. was First story now. That was just a nice little... That was actual real world news. Well, this is real world news. It was... <laughs> Shut up! There's your clicky because you're doing the story. Thanks. Are you warm now? Chris come in looking ever so cold. I did. Um, okay, we are in France, people. We're oh. not. With this is, which story, one's this? this story, roller coaster. Oh, so it's the roller coaster. The roller coaster. Well, don't be racist, Chris. It's the French, though. <laughs> what about a French woman? Chris doesn't believe they should have rights. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> 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 a French woman. It's <laughs> <laughs> a French woman. <laughs> oh. But this French woman is in a relationship with a roller coaster. Oh! Sorry, you'll, you'll have a couple of sound effects until it sorts itself out. You've had a report. Cheers, B. Welcome. <laughs> um, you, you reported ages ago about a woman marrying a train station. Is this yeah. on the same sort of lines? Yeah. Right, lines, I didn't even mean that. <laughs> so, do you tell. Basically, a French woman is in a sexual relationship with a roller coaster. She's been going to this theme park for many, many years since she was a little one, and over the years she's got attached to this theme this roller coaster, and she now has sexual activities with how it does, and everything. How does she do that? I don't know. I don't want to know, to be honest. Is this a, a regular coaster? Is it is, is it in Disneyland Paris or is it? Is I it... don't think it's a main actual. Right, okay. Little one for the little people. So she's she's now uh, dating a roller coaster. Is she dating? She's been in a a, a sexual attracted relationship since she was a teen. Is it? Is it? Is she in love with the actual cart or the track? Because which part is the roller coaster, or are they both the same? I think both. So you can't, because I guess technically you can't have a roller coaster without either. So I guess it's, it's called closer. the Sky Scream Roller Coaster at the Holiday Park. There we go. Okay. So it's basically just another, another mental person. Another mental person. There you go. We love them on this channel. We do indeed. There's one on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the Squidalo alone. So yeah. Roller coaster. <laughs> We have another weird relationship. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's this that one? one? <laughs> this one is a woman from Moscow. Moscow, Moscow. Moscow. <laughs> and she has been in a. She's actually married to this one. Her briefcase. Oh, for f- she found her briefcase in the shop back in 2015. Oh, so she went in the shop and bought it? Yep. Since 2015. And over the years, I don't know how. But over the years, just like the last one, she became sexually attracted to it. And then eventually, she married the briefcase. Somebody actually... And she goes everywhere with his briefcase. <laughs> what, man? Hi, mummy! So, yeah. Another so, weird... So, somebody actually had a ceremony. Like, somebody would have married them. Yep. Jesus Christ, only in Russia. Well, I was about to say only in Russia. We've got them spreading all over the fucking... All over the world, co- COVID all over again, just spreading everywhere. Spreads. Ooh, marrying train stations, marrying roller coasters, marrying briefcases. I'd like to marry Stormbreaker. If that was, it was between B and Stormbreaker. Definitely. It's not even... It's, you're not even in the running, to be fair, B. Well... I thought about killing her as well. So everyone much. else just seems to be imagining marrying objects. Apparently, I was growling at her in my sleep the other day. So apparently, I'm now demonic. <laughs> I don't have any. I honestly, she. I swear, she makes up loads of shit to make me sound like a mental patient in bed. Well, she, I don't think she needs to mess it up. Then. Yeah, mate, mate. Apparently, I'm just sat there snuggling with my little teddy. He turned. He, he, growling. This side of the bed, and the duvet was on an air, and he was like. Argh. Like, what are you growling? What are they doing? I don't remember any of this, mate. There you go. Go marry your briefcase, you lunatics. And go out in bed. <laughs> I'm a grueler. It's a grueler. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> a former Israeli Israeli space pro no I'll start again just carry on mate a, a former Israeli a former s- head of is- an Israeli space program she started this year fighting well you've got Stormbreaker a former head of an Israeli space program right has came out and said that he Donald Trump and aliens made a deal. Fuck off. <laughs> and this deal is to stay away, the aliens to stay away, and Donald Trump would not be able to tweet, and later on in the future, he'll become president again. <laughs> <laughs> so this random Israeli, we'll just call him a scientist, yes. right? He's claiming that Donald Trump has made a deal with the aliens, that the aliens said if you don't tweet, you can come, become president again. Yes. Why the thanks, fuck would... Thanks help with them. Why would the aliens care if he tweets? I don't know. I can't imagine there's aliens sat there in the fucking the dark side of the moon going, I'll swatch hashtagging on Twitter right now. <laughs> I mean, does that mean that the aliens have Twitter themselves? Quite possibly. Jesus fucking Christ, what a bunch of... No wonder it's come from fucking a space program with some scientist... Scientistic? Scientific nuts. What a fucking twat. Yeah. That is the big. I mean, it's a, a weird ass story, but aliens and Trump are connected. He will be president again. He just can't tweet. What the fuck? Impossible. <laughs> possible. Anything's possible nowadays. Hey, to be fair, you're right. I can't guarantee that it's not true, but we can say it's more than likely not true. Yeah. But I can't. I've got no evidence to say that it's not. No. What a fucking twat, Roy. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Okay. I get so hot. See, when we're standing in the finger turned on and that, I'm, I'm sweating right now. I'm okay. Yeah, but you're, you're like, um, is it, would, it be, would it be cold blooded or warm blooded? Like a lizard that like thrives on heat. Is it a lizard? Yeah, lizards in that thrive on heat, don't they? I'm only asking her because she's got one, but you've also had one. <laughs> they, they thrive in heat, don't they? Yeah. Whereas I'm more like, a, I don't know, like a mammoth, what is a Pokemon? Um, a mammoth, a woolly mammoth. As long as I've got a couple of layers That's on. Stink. No, but I'm saying it's only got a couple of layers on. I don't mind if it's chilly outside, it's fine. All the animals, you pick a woolly mammoth. Well, because that's all I can think about running around in snow. Right, I'd be a polar bear. No, but again, they've got water stuff to deal with. They also have transparent fur. Yeah, they're. Yeah, that's a fun fact that I did actually know. Um, What what else lives in snow that chills out? Yeah, I love penguins, but they also have to go in water. I don't want to be around water, but I want to be cold. An Arctic fox. All right, there you go. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Yeah, I'm an Arctic fox. fox. And you're a lizard. <laughs> anyway, last story was what? <laughs> was what? Tit. Oh, yeah, tit. Tit. Or, or tit or tits. Tits. Ooh. Tits. A guy from Air in Yorkshire. No, Air Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Yorkshire a lot this week. Say this is, a, week. This is Drew McIntyre territory. It is indeed. Had a bit of a heart attack when he was for some strange reason. Had a, wait, wait, had a bit of a heart attack yeah. or just <laughs> had a little bit of a heart attack when he was driving his convertible, even though it's not really the right weather for it, through air Scotland, and two tits landed in the back seat of his car hey? and started kicking off with each other. Birds, not oh, the... right, the birds, right. Is that a blue tit? Yes. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> Basically, they were fighting each other in the back seat of his car. <laughs> so there's a guy driving along air, which I'm, I'm debating if air's ever had sunny weather. Whether it, it's, it's ever it's had sunny in air, you know. Is it <laughs> only in air? No, all of Scotland. Oh, oh well. Um, so a guy's driving along convertible. He's, he's having the time of his life. Whatever he's doing. Oh, hey, can't I got my car key? And then all of a sudden, two birds form the back of his car. Yeah. And start fighting. Yeah. And he literally, he quite literally, nearly has a, like a mild heart attack. Yes. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because of them two just kicking off with each other. Do, just fighting in the back. Do, do we, well, okay, we're done with that. We're done with his part of the story. Do we know what they were fighting over? Was it a, uh, a, a, Probably, was it a yeah. couple? Did the, did the male one cheat on the female one? Were they two it's gay normally, lovers? It's normally males that fight each other and the female just... Oh, like, so it, it could have been two, so two like... Been... Two Scottish blue tits here, love. No, what, what's that bird? I won't smash. Is it Vicky? Some shit. Won't smash. You seen that video? No. You know, you've seen it, haven't you, B? Want some fuck. Yeah, want some fuck, want smash. 
You never seen it? I'll show you it, mate. It's quite funny. Just a bone wall smash. So uh, they, they could have been. It, do these birds like shiny objects, or is that just magpies? Magpies. Uh, right. Well, let's just assume they don't. So I, I need to get to the bottom of this, Chris. The guy was was he? How the guy driving the car was fine. Fine. Did he harm anybody? Did, no. Did he bre- okay. No, so right, no, he's, he's fine. fine. Is he's his fine. car fine? Believe so. Right, we're done with him then, he can fuck off. What's happening with these birds? I need to know what's going well, on. It should, it probably they would be just we're fighting, fighting over for a worm? The, no, I'd say the, well, I, I don't know. No. What's the biggest cause in bird fights? Females. What's the it's second always, biggest? It's always mating. What's the ones that um that have like the little dance? You showed me these. I know which one you mean. Yeah, they're like, like oh. they're like. Yeah, they do all the weird shit. Maybe, maybe, maybe they were doing it uh, like this is their like I don't know their tribal fight shit shenanigans, and I don't fucking know. Maybe they were just getting it on. Maybe they were gay. Maybe, yeah, but they were fighting the back of the car. Oh, yeah. Watch my stormbreaker. Yeah, well, probably would have been for a mate. I'd say. Okay. So yeah, uh, careful in case two tits. Two tips. Land in the back seat if you can. Cause kickoffs. Uh, I, I, it's usually something I didn't think we'd have to worry about, but evidently, it is. So, uh, sports and weather time. It is. And some fluff. Be free, my baby. It's that. It's from my pocket, cunt. <laughs> it's from my, it's from my belly button. <laughs> there was a guy that I knew that was fucking disgusting. He was horrible. He always had fluff in his belly button. He gave it to my mate Scott once. Uh, Scott's actually been on the channel before, and uh, he. Why went, would he give it his belly button? Because he went, he went, smell this. He smelled it and he spewed in his pack of quavers. But he was that steam, and when he spewed, he carried on eating his quavers, <laughs> covered in spew. <laughs> this was at his house, and all I remember was was taking home this proper cozy pillow and his full bag uh, of of coffee from my mate. All those spewy quavers everywhere. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Obviously, he doesn't clean himself properly. Be- fucking got. I, mate, I have no idea what his problem was. He always, always had belly button fluff. It was fucking disgusting. Yeah, I'm going now. Sports and weather. <laughs> that was more. I, I there's no point doing a build of the sports weather because again, it's all in there. I've got news one and news two sat in my files, but I can't remember which. We do have a lot of weird ass Russian shit coming up. I can't remember if that's this week or next week. So I uh, hope you enjoyed Weird Russians or stay tuned for Weird Russians next week. I thought we'd do a Russian video. Oh, I think it's the derp week. I've got loads of derp stuff. What? You know what derp, you know what derp is, don't you, mate? Like, you get, like, something who's derp. So, like, you get a picture of, I don't know, fucking Star-Lord, and you just type in derp Star-Lord, it'd be like, derp. Yeah, so it's the derp week, I remember now. It's derp week. Now we're time for Chris's heartwarming story. Um, Roll his motherfucking intro. Where the fuck are you going? I was looking at something. Don't look at, what, don't. Bitch, please. I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> you fucking sports. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. The weather. This is happy time. God damn. I've just seen the picture by the way with visuals. I, I, is it a good outcome? It's Sadie. It's Sadie. Sadie. Sadie who? Sadie Who is she? I'm going to tell you. Oh, right. I was gonna, <laughs> the, way, the way you said that implied like it was... Like it... Like it was a famous German shepherd, like it's Sadie, like, the f- like if you were to mention, what was the one that Gus had on his senders? Winston. Yeah, if you were to mention, if you were to mention, everyone said, ah, oh, but so you're like, it's Sadie, it's fuck Sadie. But I, we're about to find out. Yeah, we're about to find out. Right, tell me all about Sadie. If you make me cry, Chris, I'll never speak to you Sadie again. Sadie is a German shepherd. Sadie is six year old. And Sadie was not long adopted by Tony. Tony and Tony. Sadie. Lived alone for a while, and obviously with his COVID and everything else, he got lonely. So he got Sadie. So he adopted a dog. Right, this is all Fair great. Enough. Okay, yeah, I'm waiting yeah, for yeah. the upset. Yeah. Don't start, mate. <laughs> Leave it there. Um, things went well. As soon as he arrived, him and Sadie clicked. 
they got on really well, and about an hour later, not even that, he basically took CDO. Um, roll on a few months later, they were all getting happy, chilling out, he went to bed as normal, he woke up, and he noticed something wasn't right. He started having a stroke. Who he did? He did. I mean, not to be a prick, I'm, uh, hopefully the guy's alright, but I'd rather it be him than her. He started to have a stroke. Jesus Christ. He crawled out, of, he tried to get out of bed, but he couldn't, because obviously one Are side you, of his body... Isn't it gone. your left side, or can it be any? I guess mainly your left. Is it? Yeah, gives you... Yeah. Hmm. So, Sadie noticed that something wasn't right about him, so she jumped up, tried to help him. He couldn't get anywhere, so basically she dragged him to get his mobile phone, and then helped call 911. Not help, but he'd be able to call the, the ambulance to get him out. And so basically, she kind of saved his life. Get in! Oh, get in! And that's adopted the not dog after like two or three months of being with him. So it, if you show a dog love, he'll show you back. Dogs are just literally the fucking best anyway. Yeah. I'm now, that, that's awesome. I'm glad he, he's okay, yeah? Yes, he right? is. And Sadie's so having a time of her life, I'm she guessing is. still. She, she looks is. fucking adorable, by the she way. Um, but this kind of sounds a little bit, I want to make sure your health's okay here, yeah? I don't want you having a stroke. This sounds a little bit like your story, mate. you got a lockdown dog. He's just a little puppy. He's going to grow up. I don't want a few months down the road, you having a stroke. I don't think I will do. I mean, to be honest, uh, as long as your dog's all right, whatever happens to you, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll, fi- I'll find a new, I'll find a new Chris. I'll ask, I'll get a lineup of Chris. I'll get him replaced, and I'll find, I'll find the the uh, the boldest, um, round faced Chris I can. Like you're close enough. Do you like Marvel? Not fuck off. <laughs> you, I really like cars, and I like that man. You f- <laughs> tick tick. There you go. Got a new Chris. Now obviously, I'm on a message, but that did sound a little bit similar to your story, so. Well, I'm not having a stroke, am I? He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. There we go. Uh, so, what well, I'm say to the dog? If my German Shepherd uh, send me how on a stroke, I think she'd eat me. Oh. I don't think that dog's doing anything if either anyone in this house is... Oh, no, she's murmuring. No. No, she <laughs> She'd probably get a ball. Oh, like... She, um, she does it, doesn't she? If somebody kicks off at the door or whatever, she'll kick off, kick off, then she'll come upstairs, get her chewy ball, and then that's it. So I'll be like, early, early, oh, oh, and that's it. Okay, cheers, pal. So I'm leaving it up to B to look after me if I am going to have a stroke. Wow. Uh, I'm like, oh, this is mine. No, this none of this stuff is, is yours. I'm leaving it. Chris, you, you, now if I go yeah. before you, all of this stuff is inherited to you, okay? To do what you please with. Can I bet I'm like, can you fuck? <laughs> 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 I'm not getting any of my stuff. B, have it's you seen your collection nice. compared to mine? Hairy baby. That's what makes it better. Uh, but there we go, visuals. It's time for your happy ending. It's going to be more derpy doop doop doop. Derp. Oh. A dance. Happy ending. Bye bye. I would say bye. 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 <laughs> Not just like that. Hi, my name is your mic and news. Date me. What? Um, do, 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 do. So there we go. You got anything to add, B? Yeah. Really hot. You're not warm. What are you standing there fucking doing all the weird shit? I'm warm and I need a weed. You're wearing a hat. You're wearing a fleece. It's not a fleece, Chris. You need a shave. I. I was in space and this black goo somehow stuck to my body and all of a sudden this symbol has been stuck to my chest. It kind of sounds like I am Venom. I'm not stating that I am Venom, but it's more than likely I am Venom. No. Crit. <laughs> it doesn't work yet. Do you like that film? <laughs> with, 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 with Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, what a Jake great uh, li- life. Yeah. What a fucking great film. Ryan Reynolds dies quite early, he doesn't does. he? <laughs> well, like 20 minutes, half an hour max. Mm. What have you seen life? I enjoyed that. Yeah. I made it. How good was it? Because uh, eventually she gets the skate pod at the end, but isn't it still potentially there? Mm-hmm. Do you know all the way, Evan? And it is basically a Venom esque story yes, in a is. weird way. Yeah. I'm gonna have to watch that again soon. What a. What a. <laughs> you fuck it. Ah, the reason why I kept you in the closet. Um, there we go, Michelle. That was this week's news. Have you go with Booski Booski? Let us know in the comments below anything you want to know about Stormbreaker. Don't ask us. They asked me. I did an FFF all about Stormbreaker. Uh, did you know in the comics that some people that tried to wield it that weren't worthy 
it would make the person explode. Yeah, you held it before. Unfortunately, I don't think this is the real one. I don't think it is. Thank you, visuals. Thank you for watching. We'll just keep being you and keep on keeping on. Have a great weekend. Bye! That was very robotic. B! Yeah, <laughs> she, she can. We'll chuck her in a pool. Oh no, I can't swim. Told you, she can swim. I just slide all swim. along. Happy birthday, Raven! So every time she I says, I can't swim. swim. You've been lying. Yeah. Just lied all along. I was thinking of the vinyl. I've booked a swimming lessons together out after lockdown. Wow, you're terrified of water. I know. I'm, I'm not terrified. It's more I'll actually. Take no. you to a lake and throw you in. Oh no, don't. Because I went to talk in town and the old ladies had to help me out. I've told you this story. It was disgusting because I got told about the one-eyed fish. <clears throat> one fish. Doesn't matter, mate. That story was in my head, and it wasn't just a case of a fish with one eye. In my head, it was fucking, you know, tentacles and a massive jaw, and it was fucking 50 foot long, and I'm just thinking... <laughs> the only thing that's in that talking town is the little village at the bottom. Is, this, is that true? And is there a helicopter in there? Not a helicopter. There's parts of an old plane. All right, so why are people telling me helicopter? They're, right, that's it settled. We found out you could swim. You got to the bottom of talking town. Bitch, just keep in here and keep on keeping on. Boom. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I can swim. <laughs> <laughs>